great chapters in biology. Thank you. So far completed uh, nine chapters in second PUC biology in CRD. The tenth is easiest chapter microbes in human welfare. It is easy as well as very important for your neat examination. Neat examination. This is very very important. So what are all the microbes which are helpful to mankind? which are helpful to women uh, welfare are the listed in this uh, uh, chapter that is very very important for the, your neat examination number one is lab lactobacillus is uh, the bacteria produces a certain acids a certain acids which coagulate and partially digest to milk before curdling of milk Lab produce not given so far uh, for neat or CET. Lab produces certain acids which partially digest milk, coagulate milk before curdling of milk. So there is one partially digest the milk and coagulate the milk. Second one is curdling of milk. And the lab lactobacillus is the source of vitamin B12 in uh, the stomach in the stomach of human beings it is the source of uh, vitamin b12 and checks bacteria or the various uh, uh, usefulness of the uh, lab lab and then coming to the uh, certain microbes are used in fermentation fermentation of uh, the uh, bamboo uh, as well as soya bean and even fish fish bsf bamboo, soya bean, fish uh, are fermented by the certain, uh, certain uh, microbes certain microbes and the puffs you can you might have seen in the dosa as well as idli these puffs uh, release carbon dioxide carbon, carbon dioxide the important thing uh, the uh, for the other things uh, uh, previously asked in the CAT that is uh, the Swiss cheese. Swiss cheese can be obtained from Propion bacterium Sherman. Sherman. And Rockforti cheese can be obtained from the Rockforti fungus, that is Pencilium itself. Rockforti Pencilium. Pencilium. And next to this, fermentation um, is given. Saccharomyces, that is uh, the uh, sugar uh, fungi uh, called uh, fermentation fermentation so we know very well the yeast cells are used as uh, the the used for the fermentation this is h 2 6 that will uh, give you uh, the 2 ch 2 h 2 co 2 and 2 atp that is called uh, fermentation so this uh, kind of using the yeast cells for fermentation uh, dates back to uh, the prehistoric period and even time uh, immemorial immemorial because they are used to produce alcoholic beverages especially the brandy and rum by the distillation using such uh, uh, ferments uh, which is very very uh, important and then uh, it is also used in ferments, uh, these uh, yeast cells are used in malted uh, cereals uh, and uh, cereals as well as uh, the fruit juices also, fruit juices also. So coming to the antibiotic, that is penicillin, penicillin can be obtained from Penicillium notatum fungus. It was accidentally invented by, invented by Alexander Fleming. And he was working on a bacterium called Staphylococcus. Staphylococcus. He was working on Staphylococcus, but accidentally he found uh, the fungus, fungus which uh, kills the bacteria, which checks or kills the bacteria. Such a substance is called antibiotic. So, world famous antibiotic penicillin invented accidentally by the Alexander Fleming. 
and Ernest Chain and Howard Florey extracted the potential and defective penicillin. Potential and defective penicillin extracted by Ernest Chain and Howard Florey. Hence, Ernest Chain, Alexander Fleming, as well as uh, the uh, Howard Florey awarded with Nobel Prize in 1945, which is very important. So the penicillin saved so many uh, millions of uh, soldiers, wounded uh, soldiers, and it is also used to treat the um, uh, plague, whooping cough, diphtheria, and even leprosy. Leprosy. So hence they have been awarded with the Nobel Prize in 1945. 1945. And coming to the other microbes which are used for the production of various acids. For example, acetic acid can be obtained from Astrobacter acetine. Butyric acid can be obtained from Clastridium botulinicum. And citric acid can be obtained from the fungus Aspergillus, Ascomycic fungus, Ascomycic fungus. And there are certain lipases used in detergent formulation. Detergent formulation lipases produced by uh, some uh, microbes used in detergent formulation to remove the uh, dirty uh, grease present in between the fibers of the uh, cloth that is also uh, very very important. And coming to the treatment of the sewage water how the sewage water will be treated the primary treatment primary treatment that means the large floating waste uh, will be uh, effluent can be removed and the solid one get settles down that is called primary sludge when the this dirty water allowed to enter into the large tanks then this primary sludge uh, containing water will be allowed to enter uh, into the tanks containing water which uh, uh, is known as secondary treatment or biological uh, treatment and this especially this what I am explaining is very 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 uh, important and then here the flax are also allowed to mix with this uh, water flax nothing but there are certain bacteria and then the uh, certain uh, fungi hyphae uh, together forms a mesh like structure hence called flock flock so these flocks are the aerobic bacteria which digest the organic waste and reduce BOD biological biochemical oxygen demand reduces and this BOD measures the amount of organic matter in a uh, used uh, to measure the organic matter if the BOD is less uh, means the organic matter uh, organic uh, matter will be less if the more uh, BOD demand organic matter will be more so that is it uh, reduces uh, the organic waste or the matter or digests uh, the organic waste that is the flux then it is uh, then the flock gets settled down this is very important and this uh, the settled uh, flock called activated sludge these things are very very important activated sludge and then activated uh, sludge along with water allowed to enter into another tanks which contain anaerobic sludge digester anaerobic sludge digester which is chiefly composed of the uh, anaerobic bacteria which uh, uh, digest uh, the most of the uh, primary sludge that is uh, the aerobic bacteria aerobic uh, bacteria aerobic bacteria and produces the biogas uh, that is the methane is also produced methane carbon dioxide and H2S are the gases which are liberated uh, during this kind of anaerobic sludge digestion that is the used by the uh, digester digester and then uh, next to this the uh, Ganga action plan and Yamuna action plan so these are 
the various programs uh, just to treat the uh, dirty water. Next is biogas production. That is very very important and usually for the theory examination the diagram is uh, very important which contain inlet, outlet and the slurry, uh, the tank um, uh, uh, should be uh, which contains uh, the slurry should be fed to the tank and uh, floating tower floating tower and the various methanogenic bacteria methanophilus methanotropus so methane producing bacteria anaerobic bacteria again used in the previous uh, uh, that is uh, anaerobic sludge digester same thing same thing uh, some bacteria and they digest the cellulose so far not acid and present in the gut portion of the rumen uh, portion of the ruminants 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 uh, and these uh, anaerobic uh, bacteria produces as I told you carbon dioxide methane and H2S and these are the various gases and methane is the produced being produced in a large amount collected by the floating tower and uh, can be efficiently removed from the uh, outward this one and this is uh, there are two organizations which play important role uh, for the production of this kind of biogas, especially in the village areas, that is IARA. So, Indian Agricultural Research uh, Institute and KVIC, Kadi Village Industrial Commission, KVIC, KVIC are the two organizations to look after about the biogas production, biogas production. And the last aspect is there are certain uh, organisms which check uh, the other organisms or the pathogens for example the ladybird and the dragonflies they control they eliminate the aphids uh, and even uh, certain mosquitoes mosquitoes that is biological control uh, biological control that is the aphids and mosquitoes will be eliminated by the ladybird and the certain dragon uh, flies as we know very well, in case of Bt cotton, Bacillus thuringiensis cotton, Bt uh, cotton, and uh, genes, uh, they contain genes like Cry1 AC, Cry2 AB, Cry1 AB. Cry1 AC and Cry2 AB. These things are very, very important. Cry were actually given in the uh, 12th chapter, 12th chapter, but here itself you have to read Cry1 AC and Cry2 AB. Cry2 AB. Uh, prevents bowl worms. Whereas cry one AB uh, prevents carnal borers. These are the very important thing. And one uh, AC and two AB cry one AC cry two AB uh, prevents bowl worms. And cry one AB prevents uh, the uh, carnal borers. Carnal borers. These are the things which are very 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 uh, important. Important. And also these spores of these uh, uh, things uh, collected from the Bt cotton also used uh, uh, in case of brassica and uh, fruit producing uh, uh, certain uh, plants to protect it uh, from these uh, plants from uh, the uh, pests uh, like certain uh, insects etc. And coming to there are certain viruses called buffalo viruses belongs to the genus nucleopolyhydroviruses they also prevent the other pathogens trichoderma is the fungus which prevents the other uh, pathogens so integrated pest management ipm is uh, one organization which you look into this kind of uh, management of uh, certain pest called integrated pest management ipm and the usual microbes which are used for nitrogen fixation are Astobacter, Azospirillum, Virginia, Clastridium, Rhodospirillum, Rhizobium. So, uh, one core word, one core word, uh, A square, B, C, R square. Astobacter and Azospirillum, B, Virginia, C, Clastridium, and Rhodospirillum and Rhizobium. And rhizobium, 
and uh, some other blue green algae, cyanobacteria like uh, Nasta cannabina acylatonia, they fix atmospheric nitrogen uh, in the uh, they are present in the coralline roots actually, cyanobacteria. Rhizomia are present in the root nodules of leguminous plants and fix atmospheric nitrogen. Their relationship is said to be symbiosis, where both organisms are mutually benefited. Symbiosis is also called mutualism that you will study in the next chapters in detail. And glomus is the fungus, fungus, which is a mycorrhiza. Mycorrhizal fungus. That means there are certain fungi which live in the roots of uh, the pteridophytes and gymnosperms, uh, supply uh, nitrates, phosphates, uh, sulfates to the plant, to the plant, and they get sheltered. Thus, both organisms are mutually benefited. Such one fungus named um, in the um, textbook that is Glomus. So this is about in detail the various the microbes used for human welfare very important chapter and very easiest chapter uh, easiest chapter uh, please uh, don't forget to uh, subscribe all the best uh, please read well please subscribe subscribe for further chapters thank you